John McCoon is considered the father of Canadian botany. His work so influential, more than 100 species carry his name. He was a founding contributor to the Royal BC Museum and Archives Botany Collection. His fern specimen, listed number one in their catalog, dates back almost 100 years. Stacy Ross reports. So this is a specimen of fern and it was collected by John McCowan on July 21st, 1914. John McCowan, considered the father of Canadian botany, was among the first to contribute to one of the Royal BC Museum's most treasured collections. That acquisition really was the beginning of the herbarium collection. McCowan worked as a botanist for CP Rail and traveled across Canada documenting plant diversity. When he retired in 1912, he settled on Vancouver Island and his passion for collecting never waned. One of his collections is number one in our catalog of over 210,000 specimens. Hundreds of specimens carefully preserved, still relevant. Some of them are the first collections that we have of species in the province including some um, species that we now consider invasive. So he sometimes documented their first arrival. Even the small flowers on this Gary Oak specimen offering valuable lessons. With climate change, there is evidence that the flowering time of plants is, is shifting. How great was McCowan's influence? There are close to 100 species named after him. This is an example of one. This is Limnanthes macunii. McCowan died in 1920, but his legacy lives on. So working in almost the same place and the same field as those people did 100 years ago, I have a real sense of um, a continuation, and it makes me feel very much a part of an um, important historical process. The acquisition of the McCowan collection was recorded in the report of the Provincial Museum of Natural History this week in 1917. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.